everyone, hi everyone, hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Katie and I make book related videos every single Wednesday. And first I will say I will apologize if I'm talking a little quieter than normal or if I'm not acting like myself, but I'm in my internship housing where I live with three other girls. And although I have my own room, the idea of them being able to hear me film makes me super uncomfortable. So hopefully throughout the summer, I'll get more comfortable filming here. But today I'm going to finally be reviewing The Vegetarian. I finished this actually almost two weeks ago, but like I said, the last few videos have been pre-recorded. This book has been all over booktube, all over the book world outside of booktube. So much hype surrounding this, both good and bad. And I have to say, unfortunately, it fell a little flat for me. So first I'll get into a summary, and as usual, this video will be completely spoiler free. I'm sure most of you know the basic summary at this point, but it surrounds a woman who, based off of a dream, decides to become a vegetarian. And this book isn't told from her point of view, it's told from the point of view of her husband, her brother, in law and her sister. And as I've seen a lot of other people say in their reviews, and I completely agree, this book actually has nothing to do with vegetarianism whatsoever. It's much more psychological and it has to do with sort of the ripple effects that her decision has on her family. So first I will get into what I liked and then I will get into what I disliked. So for what I liked, I thought the imagery was just incredibly unique. Now I can't get into this without saying any spoilers, so I won't say anything in detail, but, but I'll just say some of the imagery and strange things that occur during the brother-in-law's section were just so strange and I, I don't want to call it wonderful because it was very odd but the imagery was really unique and like nothing I had ever read before. I also not surprisingly love the psychological aspect of how one person's small decision or, or I guess I should say seemingly small personal decision can have a ripple effect and the type of behavior it can produce in other people and how they react to it. The final point of view of the book is from the sister's point of view and I absolutely adored that section, particularly the very, very end and some of the reflections she has about what causes people to go insane and everything like that. It was just really fascinating. So for what I disliked, unfortunately, I think my feelings toward this book might be severely impacted by the fact I listened to this as an audiobook and I did not love the narration. Please let me know if you listened to this as an audiobook what you thought about it. It wasn't that the narration was bad. I don't know anything about how to narrate a book and how to do it well or bad. Badly, but, but the book inevitably fell really flat for me and I don't know if that's because of the story or the writing or or because I thought their narrator's voice was just incredibly monotonous. But my biggest issue with the book was I just had no interest with the vegetarian herself. I'll admit it's been two weeks since I finished this book so I can't remember her name. I think it was Yang He, I don't know. Realistically, I'd probably pronounce it wrong anyway, but, but there's supposed to be this level of mystery and mystique surrounding her, and, and, and I just personally never felt very intrigued or interested in why she was doing what she's doing and why she was making the decisions she made. And in a sense, I feel sad because I heard so many people say that this book really affected them, even if they disliked it or liked it, whichever side of the fence they fell on, it really had an effect on them and it left them thinking about it for a really long time. Me meanwhile, I kind of liked the book and thought it was a really interesting interesting premise, but it just had zero effect on me. And, and I remember a few days after I finished it telling myself, so many people, you know, this book has really affected them. This should be causing you to think. You need to think about this book and just nothing was happening. So although I loved the premise and I did adore a lot of the writing and some of the characters' perspectives, for whatever reason, I was just a bit bored by the book and it didn't really affect me in any huge way. But please let me know if you listened to the audiobook, did you have similar feelings? Or, or if you read it as a regular book, did you have those feelings? Should I go ahead and read the physical copy, maybe that would make a difference. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I think my next video will be a Miami vlog. You guys know I love filming my travel videos. I'm going to Miami this weekend, so make sure to also follow me on Instagram, which I'll link down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great 4th of July if you celebrate, and I'll see you guys soon.